Hi everybody, it's Rosie from Talking About BPD and today I thought I'd talk about one of my favourite books for helping me manage my BPD and it's called Mindfulness for Borderline Personality Disorder by Blaise Aguirre and Gillian Galen and I'll put the link down below. Um, so I love this book because quite frankly it's really non-judgmental, it's very compassionate and it seems that the people writing this book have an amazing understanding of what BPD is all about. Um, I was a little bit sceptical about this book initially because it was called Mindfulness for BPD and I was a bit anti-mindfulness before I started my DBT because in the past I tried mindfulness, I thought it was a load of old rubbish, I thought it wouldn't work for me and I didn't really understand it but as I got deeper and deeper into understanding more about BPD, I realised that mindfulness was actually pretty integral into helping me to cope. Um, one of the reasons why I love this book is it deals a lot with relationships and I don't know about you, but basically my biggest trigger is when I think somebody's annoyed with me or abandoning me or rejecting me or in somehow um, judging me negatively and it's kind of threatening my attachment with that person and I love this book because my favourite part is called um, Slow Down and Think Snail and basically it takes you through an acronym S-N-A-I-L for snail um, about abandonment and how to cope with that so I just thought I'd flag that as my favourite part of the book. So the way this book is structured is it understands BPD as different areas of dysregulation so when something's out of regulation and it's kind of going up and down and fluctuating and it defines that in different ways so emotional dysregulation dysregulation of the self and identity um, interpersonal dysregulation so kind of when things are going up and down in relationships and things are feeling quite unstable and shifting there and it also talks about cognitive dysregulation which is basically um, all about thoughts kind of extreme thinking and kind of black and white thinking and things like that and it kind of shows you how all of those things are interlinked um, and it gives different exercises on how to manage that and this book has been probably the second most validating book I've ever read about BPD um, my number one most validating is the DBT skills and handouts and worksheets book which I'm going to do a video on soon um, but I really recommend this book um, it calls itself a powerful blah, a powerful path to finding freedom from suffering and I don't know I wouldn't go that far I don't think I'd go that far to say it's given me a path um, but I think it's certainly given me some stepping stones so for that reason I'm grateful and I really recommend it